Hey everybody, we're going to go through the bare minimum required to get a game published out for Fortnite. So let's open up our editor. So it'll just pop up with the splash screen. I'm going to go ahead and say done. And I have some uh, previous ones I've been messing with here, but we're going to go to the island templates. Again, we just want to get something up on Fortnite to see how the process works. So I'll go ahead and grab a Tilted Towers Island here and let's give it a name and we'll just call it quick start tilted and create alright so once your project loads and is built you'll see that here is all your content down here I'm gonna just pick a random tree or whatever I clicked on hit F to zoom in and I did pick a tree what do you know and uh, just tumbling around a little bit here taking a look you can see all of your geometry here if you wanted to sure you could move your truck up in the air or something like that but this is not a project about aesthetics at all it's all about the fastest way to get something published just to see the process so let's go through what the next steps would be first you would want to do a little play session to test it so you'd go launch session and because I bumped that truck it's asking me to save actually I'm gonna save it my amazing change there and it's gonna connect to the Fortnite servers to try and get this up and running on their servers so that you can see how it play tests it won't be very exciting because there's really no logic or anything at all but you will be able to run around in your character and see how it works the default tilted setup here So you can see up at the top here the status. It is currently loading. When it's ready, we're going to go ahead and hit Start Game. All right, so once your session is connected, you can go ahead and Start Game. So game is in progress. I'm going to jump over to Fortnite. And here I am in Fortnite, falling away down to my island that I just created. All right, so just a quick little play test. It's not going to be much different than what you're expecting it to be. So you'll notice I don't even have a pickaxe. If you're Fortnite savvy, you'll notice a few things missing. For example, uh, you know, so I can do some shooting and such. Um, but yeah, no uh, pickaxe. That's probably something that needs to be configured. Uh, but at least you get the idea, and you can play test your game to see uh, how that's going to work. And so yeah, this is the default tilted map that we now just loaded and there's my ice cream truck that I put into the air so because of the collisions I can just get under it nice so there's my uh, custom mod if you've got to modify something uh, there you go the next step we're gonna go back over to UEFN and we're gonna go ahead and end the game it takes a couple seconds to end let's go ahead and save And the next step is we're going to give it a go at publishing. So we're going to go to Project and Publish Project. Now, if you already know the answer here, there's something that we're going to have to come back to, but I just want to show you all the steps. So let's just try to force our way through. So let's Publish Project. And you'll see that before you can publish, you have to launch the memory calculation. So we have to do that and then come back here. So let's go ahead and cancel that. Do the same thing, Project launch memory calculation and then go ahead and calculate memory so here's my island number for the private version and I do want it to show in the creator portal so let's say done and now let's go ahead and bring over our creator portal so over here on our web page for our creator portal assuming you've already logged in and that you do have an account which was covered in a previous video so if you haven't done that run over and do that real quick to go through all this and publish it you're gonna need that first so click on the link and go through that if you haven't yet and let's go ahead and push this out now so hit the publish button and now you gotta go through and fill out some details so let's go through that game description just in case somebody finds this island just giving them a warning uh, let's see island tags we do need something there so you've got a whole bunch of stuff 
Uh, this is just me versus me. Actually, you may want to play with some friends, maybe. And let's go ahead and find some sort of... Uh, is there one for not very exciting game? It's casual. It's very casual. All right, and uh, let's see what else we got here. How to play, instructions, first bullet. It's all optional. So as we saw, pretty much all you can do is run around and shoot stuff. So we'll say next. So now what we have to do is, as it says, you got to go through some certification for age and such. So let's do that. Go ahead and put in your email. And then go ahead and read the fine print here, but we got to begin the questionnaire for the IARC. And I guess we'll call it a game. It's not very gamey, but let's see. Does it contain violence? No. Fear? No. Sexuality? No. No. No language. No controlled substance. No crude humor. And I'll go ahead and flip through all these a little quicker here. And next. Now we are given our game rating and we'll say finished. So we've done our details, we have our rating. Let's look now at promotional media. So let's double check everything there and click next. So we just need to put in some images here. So I've created some uh, pretty generic ones so far we can use. I have a landscape thumbnail already created. Guess what square thumbnail is going to say? You guessed it, square thumbnail. Uh, let's see, a trailer. I don't have a video and it's optional, so let's go ahead and skip that. And lobby background image, also optional, so I'm going to skip that. As noted here, this is what you would see in your background of your lobby while people are waiting to hop in in the game, I guess. Oh, I could use one of the default lobby backgrounds, but you know what? I'm going to skip this right now just for speed. You don't need to watch me shop for background images, so let's go next. Recognition for any licenses or licensor that I used in my project, but I'm just using, as you saw, plain old tilted, so I don't really have any. And next. And now we're over here to visibility. So this is if you wanted, kind of like YouTube, if you wanted listed public or unlisted. You know, since this is not that interesting a game, I'm going to go ahead and put it to unlisted. I don't want to be known for the boring map maker uh, showing up on the front page of Fortnite Creative. However, if you think yours is super cool and you want people to play it, definitely put it as listed. So I'm going to put unlisted. And I'll go ahead and set it to auto activate and it sounds like that would make it a little bit faster. So let's auto activate and publish. So it's been submitted for publishing. And I'll go ahead and reload the page and see if we have any update here. And we do. So here is our game in quotes. Here are, are the details about it and it is currently in review so we'll let that sit do its review process and continue in a second when I get an update well looks like this isn't gonna be as quick of a process as we thought after all so my generic island has come back as failed so let's take a look at what the deal is so I'm gonna pull up the email that they sent about it and looking at the title here public release rejected so let's take a look so there's a note about the uh, age rating questionnaire potentially not being filled out properly. So here where it says you're required to accurately disclose relevant content within your island for age appropriate rating. So um, that or the island is just too lame and they're not going to publish things that aren't obviously very fun to play. So. I'm going to give another go at it and see if I can uh, maybe disclose relevant content with a little more detail and let's see if we can get it in for round two. So for that let's just come back in here and click on uh, publish new release. And we have the same forms to fill out. Maybe here in the old game description we need to put a little more detail. So let's try something like this. And then continuing down, let's see, island tag, same thing. We'll just go with, what did I do before? Casual. It's definitely casual. And let's see how to play. Something simple like that. 
And now for the questionnaire again. Beginning questionnaire. And let's try game again, even though, again, it's not that interesting. Um, depiction of violence. I mean, it has guns, so maybe we should say yes. Let's try that. Let's see what the question mark is here. Looks like, you know, your standard shoot people like that kind of idea. So maybe it is true. So we'll say uh, implied against humans. There's no other non-humans. Let's see, what kind is it? Fantastical, well, I guess we'll say realistic. I'd like to know what Fortnite is itself. Um, let's try. Uh, pixelated or childlike, not really. The reactions to violence, I think, you know, if it's like standard Fortnite, then let's see what they say here. So this looks like, well, that is Fortnite, I guess. So unrealistic. Let's say unrealistic. How's it? Da, 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 Let's check this one again. Uh, close up. How close up? If we're talking Fortnite, I mean, I guess that's close up when you're shooting somebody else. So often depicted from close up. Level of blood. I don't think there's any blood in Fortnite, is it? Don't people just kind of like get beamed up? So I'm going to say none. Does it take place in a historical or war setting? Uh, not really. Can innocent or defensive characters be seriously injured or killed? I mean, I guess when you play, um, let's see, bystanders who are not involved. Oh, I see, like random, like GTA or something. All right, so um, I don't think so because I don't have random people in my game. So I'm gonna say um, no. Are there any fierce sounds or intimidating or dark? Uh, no. All right, let's see if uh, submitting it this time with those properly filled out, maybe that was the catch. So uh, there's nothing, no fear, no sexuality, no gambling, no language, no controlled substance or crude humor. Miscellaneous. And next. So we got a rating this time and finished. And I'll try this just one more time. If it uh, publishes, great. So we got a little bit different feedback here on the note. Just saying it won't be available in certain regions. So, okay. Um, mild violence. So let's say next. Adding our awesome thumbnails again. And no trailer and no random background. No attributes, auto activate. I think I'll go ahead and still make it unlisted. I really don't need it gumming up discovery mode, but if you did want it, you would put listed. And let's try again. And sending it back in for review again. If it comes back failed, it's probably just because it's not much of a game. So uh, at least you'll have seen the process, but let's, let's see. So the creator portal has now updated on its own I didn't even have to hit the reload button so within a few minutes it kind of self reloaded so here it is going in for round two all right well we're back and we did get another failed however I was gonna quit if it was the same message but it is a different message so we might actually see if we can get this through so this time it doesn't seem to like my thumbnails which you know I admit they're not really like the game at all it's just text so this is saying I should try and make some images that look like my gameplay so I'm gonna do that in my promotional image I'm gonna update that and let's try again so quickly this time publish I wish I remembered what I wrote last time I should actually go ahead and put in a Google Doc which I would recommend So this time for promotional media, I have some real gameplay captures, and I even made a trailer. And continuing forward, no attributes, 
visibility unlisted, auto activate, and let's try again. And now let's see if third time's a charm. Do a quick reload, get it listed here, and we shall see. Well, look at that. Looks like third time is the charm. So it liked my uh, promos now. So now I have been approved. Let's look at the email you'll get once you're approved. And yes, the public release is approved. Nice. So this email says that this island with this code has been approved. If I had set it to automatically release, it will, which I did. Or you flip it manually, which I don't need to because I set it to automatic. As noted, if it's listed, it could be in the Discover section. However, I made mine unlisted, so it's going to be accessible only via island code. So let's test this out. And you can manage your island in your creator portal. If you needed to make some changes, you could go ahead and go through this whole process again. I do recommend, though, as we saw, writing down those details about publishing, because otherwise you're going to have to type them in each time, which is fine. Just plan ahead. So let's grab our island code and see what this does in the old Fortnite. I'm going to hit this little button here to copy my island code. Let's run over to Fortnite. And here in Fortnite, head up to the search and put in your island code. And there it is right there with my little thumbnail. Perfect. And let's click it and quick start tilted. Note teen for violence because yeah, I guess it is violent when we go around shooting people. So up to 16 players. So if you're watching this video and you want, I'm going to leave this up. So go ahead and jump in the island. See if there's anybody else randomly playing in there. There's not, uh, like as you saw, there's not a whole lot of logic or anything. I don't even know what it would be like playing with someone else. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and select that and play that. And let's see if it really jumps in there. I'm assuming it will because that's the whole purpose of it all, right? Of course, you can always make yours more complex, add more logic, do something totally different. But it is kind of good to see it make it all the way through the process, even if it's as simple as using a template that already exists. And here we go. We're falling down on our tilted. This is being played in the legit Fortnite. And I wonder if you can die. Let's see. You should have stayed on that building because <laughs> you can't build and you can't even uh, pickaxe. Well, let's see if I can, uh, which makes me wonder how you even end the game. So let's see if I can get up the stairs here. Again, it's no build. I'm going to run around. Let's find some stairs. And because I can't, I can't pickaxe, so I have to go ahead and shoot a hole in the roof. And let's see, how do you, oh my goodness, wrong roof, a little too fast there. Let's try that again. Where was the roof I shot out? Not that one. All right, don't jump where there's another ledge. Let's go all the way down. No. Uh. All right, so you won't die, but it is cool to see that it made it all the way through. It is approved. It's a legit game. Now, I know this is mine because I have the uh, ice cream truck floating in the air that we're going to go under. All right, so success. You now know how to publish an island all the way through so that you and your friends can play around. So soon I'll be putting out some material on how to enhance your actual editing experience to be able to create more than just a island template, but for now... Follow these same steps, get your island published, and that is a big step one. If you do get your island all the way through, go ahead and put your code in the comments, and I'll jump in and uh, run around it just for kicks, and hopefully others will too. Enjoy.